Alrighty then. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my Splatoon 3 story mode playthrough. This is most likely the finale. I don't know how much we have to get through for the final area. But I'm going to squeeze all of it into one video if I can. Uh, last time we saw all the intro cutscenes and everything leading up to the first level. So, you know, that's the, the end of the previous video if you missed it. If anything interesting happens on the rewatch of the cutscenes going back in, I'll show it. Otherwise, we'll cut back to where we left off at the beginning of the level. So I'll see you then. Alrighty, we're back, picking up where we left off. All the cutscenes were pretty much the same, save for like one bit of dialogue. I don't know if I just didn't notice it before, but it was just Fry being like, Ah, oh, you know, oh, these agents are really, these agents are really nice, although they seem really familiar. I wonder where I know them from, to be like, oh, they recognize them as the Squid Sisters, even though they're like not disguised at all. And it's like, of course you should recognize them. What, just because they're not in their idol outfits? Whatever. But okay, picking up where we left off, let's get started. Alterna Space Center Entrance. Only one life. Calm yourself, then watch and learn. All weaponry is strictly prohibited beyond this point. Pets and or sidekicks are allowed. So it's a good thing I got that small fry upgrade then, if I can only use him. Hopefully I have all my- nope. <laughs> so much- oh, is your gear all the way you want it fully upgraded before you go in? Okay, great. You can't use it. Wow, they took everything. All of your hero gear. Yeah. Great. Oof. I mean, we didn't exactly surprise them, did we? We just charged right in. If I were setting a trap for you, I'd be doing the yay the trap work dance right now. I may do it anyway. It's a fun dance. Nice that they're part of the team now. I see your gear. I see your gear. You should be able to get it back if you make it through this. What do you think? What do you think, Agent 3? You have your small fry. Are you good to give it a try? Would you be going in there fresh out of ink? Who am I kidding? Of course you would. Ooh, interesting music right off the bat. Okay, just... Oh. Haha. <laughs> Okay. At least they sent a welcoming committee. How thoughtful. Careful, H3, ever heard of Death by Committee? You're looking at it. I mean, just get him. We have the upgraded damage buff now. I mean, yeah, it feels like- I guess he's doing more damage. Well, look at that. Between Agent 3 and Small Fry, who needs fancy weapons? And then again. <laughs> okay, that was cool. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I like fancy weapons. <laughs> Going on. Oh, I wonder if the upgrade works. We have all our gear stripped away, so I'm guessing Small Fry lost his upgrades as well. Unfortunately. Oh, I hear some flutters. Boy. He's stuck there. Alright, now what am I supposed- I guess throw it over him? Oh no, he's dead. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I didn't know you could throw him on and just stop it. <laughs> that would have been a helpful tip for uh, earlier levels. Oh. Don't stop him. <laughs> nope. Okay. Getting some more small fry puzzle levels, which is nice. Right at the end. Uh, two volts. But are there any keys? 
There's a checkpoint over there. Can't get up there. Oh, it feels so weird to be in a bunch of places where there's like... There's a bunch of like stuff I could ink, but I don't have any ink way to ink anything. Now I just hope there are some keys nearby. There's one. Yeah, I figured that was glass. Well, I mean, it's easy to tell. It's got the, like, smudge and shine on it. Oh, what is that smell? What do you mean? I don't smell anything. I think that's Fry's way of sniffing out a key. Oh, I thought it was going to be a snack. I should have eaten something before this. <laughs> okay, I've got to go way deeper in here. Alright, there's a geyser here. Two geysers. Bunch of eggs. Not really useful at this point. Oh, hello. There we go. Final checkpoint. That's one key in your pocket. Now, where could the other one be? Got some calamari rings. Wait, this looks awfully familiar. Yeah, but I don't think the same trick is going to work twice. Oh, you need help with this? Just do a double floop and skim the blobber stealth style. Easy. Smart. Great plan, Shiver. The double floop blobble? <sighs> what are you talking about? Man, that moved really slowly. Hello, boyo. Thank you for coming over to meet me. Oh, that's glass there, so I couldn't have tried to do a trick jump anyway. It worked! You found the second key! Finally, I'm dying to see what's in those vaults. Oh, I see. Had a feeling I needed to leave him on there. Ah, uh, they seem overly excited to see you. What are you gonna do? Never fear, Agent Three and Small Fire here. After we, everything we've seen, something, something, something. Wish I could have read that dialogue. Must be getting close to the exit. Wait a second. Gah! Another trap. Eating contest win, little guy. <laughs> nice. Hey, little guy. That little thing really has an appetite. Nice teamwork, you two. Hmm. Oh, oh, we go to one of these things and it lets us equip something. Also, yeah, I was gonna say, didn't they encounter the small fry during a boss? But I guess there wasn't any point during... Deep cuts boss battles where we would have used small fry. Because we only ever used him in the Octavia boss fight, which kind of feels like, huh. Weird that he's the only boss that needed small fry to do anything for you to progress the fight. It's interesting. Oh, wow, that's cool. No, like. Screen popping up. We just see the, like, thing pop up to give us the actual mechanics and. 
the device pop up to give us our gear and stuff. It's interesting. Ooh, you got your gear back. Careful, Agent 3, you've already seen a few traps. There could be more. I can finally ink. You can probably go back and do a bunch of stuff now, but I think we got everything anyway, so it's probably fine. That's cool that you interact with one of these things. Uh, excuse me. Here we go, area two. Yeah, this is extremely, this is literally the finale Doctor expansion. You and Small Fry did great, but it must be a relief to have your gear back. Don't you think we should get a move on? For, look for another way in, Agent 3. There's gotta be one around here. Alright, Grizz, whatever your name is, what's the deal with these ropes? Ropes? Those are corporate engagement facilitators, and they are helping me save the world. I simply require a representative of Earth like you, don't you see? You're going to help me. Help you? Somebody help me! Anyway, if you really do want to help, I'm sh I sure can't do much like this. Untie me and we'll yak about it. Never fear, you will be free soon. And together we shall bristle forth into a fuzzy and profitable new era. Oh, I get it. You've gone fishing. Completely out to sea. You're just trolling us, right? <laughs> this must be trolling. Please. Oh, so you're crazy is what he's saying. You will be free soon. Ominous. That's cool that you can see all the areas from up here. Good old sight one. All the way over to two. Three with its split paths and then four. And then five we can't really see. And then six over there. Oh, it's good to reminisce on the past. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't that long ago, but it's like, you know. Finally getting to the end of my first <laughs> playthrough on YouTube. Feels nice, you know. Making progress. But yeah, back to discussing the story. So he's sending him to space, I guess? We need a representative of Earth. Okay, yeah, <laughs> you can totally just jump off there. And there's a secret down there. That's why. Get a good look at the rocket. Some balloons up there. So that'll be like the ending is when we get into the rocket, I guess. Uh, oh, we're probably just going to head down this way. I don't need to jump because I'll, I'll be skipping stuff. little tubs. Oh, we can probably see. Oh, not yet. It's over that way. Yeah. Shuttle on that picture. This feels like it's supposed to be like a national anthem or something playing in the background, but like distorted and not any one actual anthem of the real world. Unless it is and I'm just not knowledgeable enough. Okay. Oh, that was weird. They didn't even have an animation. It's just, oh yeah, you got inside. But don't- you didn't see it. Also, okay, so that little section was literally just the top. And then now we're in- oh, that was a weird drop-in. Alternate Space Center Hangar. Warning, this is a restricted area. Entry is prohibited. All routes closed while launch sequence initiates. Have a nice day! They really don't want you to go that way. Hey, specials, let's go. Don't hesitate now or we'll lose everything. Just listen to our music and stay pumped. Hey, yo, music from these guys? I mean, they probably had some songs in the main game that I've heard, but they played old songs way too much in Tour 4, so I don't really get a chance to listen to deep cut songs if they have any. Oh, 
so much for the area being restricted. Take out the Octarians and we're in. So, and once again, just like Octo Expansion, this is just a story of some other rogue element showing up and taking over the Octarians to use them as their, their minions. And not have any minions of their own. Wavebreaker, this is the first time we've had this in story mode. Toss down the middle of a gaggle of Octarians and watch them squirm. <laughs> oh, hoppers. Get out of here. Oh, that's nice. It's just a... Oh, we, we got our gear back. Let's go. Never mind. Just give them a bunch of specials along the way. I mean, I appreciate it because I love having a lot of specials. And this is definitely great. Giving me the opportunity to actually use a lot of them. But, you know. It is a little funny. But appreciated. So, not complaining. We're just going through all the specials, aren't we? Right, that shark into the front. Let me give you a tip. You can't change direction, nor would you want to. You're at the top of the food chain. So yeah, are they shark and eel? Or are they just an octopus and a squid that really like sharks and eels? We didn't really get any of that in the story scrolls. Rising to the top, just like the superstar. There you are, Agent 3. Oh, here we go, Inkstone. We're just going through all the specials that they didn't want to give a normal level to, as well as other ones. That was probably a little early to use that. Oh, this may have been a better time to use it. <laughs> oh, never mind, we got the splashdown right here. Beautiful. And now we got Ink back. Another one I forgot about when I was going through specials that would be good. Beautiful. How shocking. She said, don't forget about small fries, but bro, what am I going to do with small fry here? I'm trying to use a special. Here we go, ink strike. Okay, completely missed with all of those. Yeah, special was not really good for that one. Probably could have. I mean, that probably would have been better for Wavebreaker, honestly. Or, um, the Stamper. I've already forgotten the name of the hammer again. Oh, well, I've got Splashdown. Yeah, it's funny that I can just get Splashdown whenever I want, but they still gave me a canister of it. I mean, just to get it quicker, if you hadn't built it up yet, I suppose. Okay, well that didn't work out. Oh, and he gave me Crab Tank. <laughs> Finally, we get Crab Tank again. After I was wishing for another level with it and they didn't give me anything. Another elevator, but look what's waiting for us, Anna. Another Crab Tank. You better make up for the lost time. I was hoping for another crab tank level and I didn't get any, and instead we got three Zipcaster levels. One of which felt like it could have been a sub-area in another level. Keep it up, you've made it so far. Really? There wasn't anything... ...over there? It looked like there would have been. Okay, good, it comes back down. Oh, I guess we already were over there. Oh, and this is like a shortcut back up here, I guess. No. Okay, we can come back up. So what is this? What's over here? I get- oh, this is the spawn. So I guess if you die, then you respawn here and you can immediately go straight to the end. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Moving along. What do we have here? Oh, can't be a dead end, can it? Nope, it's another one of these missions. Watch that after sniper. Oh my god! And your step. 
Okay, well, I didn't watch my step. Yeah, we only have one life, I guess. Oh, and I have... Alright, they gave me another crab tank and I didn't use it yet. I have ninja squid, so we're good. Watch that octo sniper and your staff. Yeah, take that. Ooh, this goes high up. Right into the next area, apparently. Keep on going. Okay, I know we've had a few false gramp signals, but I'm pretty sure he's on that launch pad. Oh, and how in the world are we supposed to get over there? I don't know for sure, but if we can get into this building on the right... Building on the right! <laughs> it's an interesting part of the sentence to highlight. Considering all, like, you know, other important words are just building on the right. Maybe we'll find an answer. Nothing really over here. Yeah, just fall to your death, I guess. Uh, yeah, and he just comes right back up. Okay. The world as it exists now is out of balance. One cannot run a world or a business in this manner. Mammals and marine creatures have traded places, and not for the better. As CEO, I must be the one to restore balance to nature. For now, I will let the fuzzy ooze spread and watch the golden eggs pile up. My employees have been extremely diligent. Oh. Hey, buddy, are you talking to me? Because I got no idea what you're saying. So Samuron has literally been helping this dude, the villain of three, the whole time. But, I mean, it's a necessary evil, right? Because the salmon are literally the apocalypse that's here to devour the world, right? So, like... Oh, wow, well, yeah, that's all the way over there. We have to get rid of them. It's just that we give all our eggs to Mr. Grizz, and he's been apparently collecting them for, like, whatever diabolical scheme this is. And it's... I was gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and think, oh, what, is there, like, some force from space that's gonna like destroy everything and he's gonna like stop it or like what you know is there some crazy deal but no it's like he's just saying the what I thought which is oh mammals need to come back on top there's too many sea creatures another look at the rocket from a different angle oh and while we're here we can probably look at site 5 yeah, there it is, all the way in the distance. Wait, no, that's four. <laughs> Never mind. That's five. We can barely see it through the scaffolding. That's four with the submarine. And there's, yeah, the green bits of the shipping containers. Just trying to see what they were. Oh, okay, we gotta get in here, apparently. Oh, we gotta jump on this, which also isn't inkable. There we go, we actually went in that time. Area three. Space center lift. Whoa, very dark and rusty looking place. Can, can we turn on a light or something? We'll have to rely on other senses, like sharks do. Well, this is ominous. Immediately shot behind us. Hey, we're moving. Very slowly. Oh, 
Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> That's how much damage she's supposed to be doing. That was... That definitely feels more like damage up on small fry. Okay, so yeah. This is just the... Slow elevator with a bunch of enemies on it. That's in a lot of games. I wish this thing moved faster, yeah. Hey, y'all. Yeah. Stay out of the ink so we can actually hear the music. Oh, is this the end? Oh, whoa! Why does he do so much damage now? He's basically just an insta-kill now. When they say damage up, they mean, oh, you know, a little bit of damage. You know, he'll occasionally kill them, but really you should attack them yourself. To like, why fight anyone when I can just throw small fry and have him insta-kill them? If we were- if only we were so lucky. Oh. We're on the move again! Probably gotta come out the back, right? Arma and an ink zooka. Probably wasn't what I was supposed to do, but oh well. There you go, we got another one, so maybe it was. Just keeps going. Is the elevator getting bigger? Sorry, that was the wrong voice. Is the elevator getting bigger? Uh oh. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Okay. Small fry damage up is OP. <laughs> It's literally like, here's your reward for getting every upgrade. You get an insta-kill weapon. Who needs specials? Last time. Finally. Probably. Hopefully. Uh... I mean, I'll pick it up just out of... The necessity. But, you know, the other special was probably better. There we go. Oh, wow, that was... Oh, we're going all the way down, I guess. Right, because of all those elevators down. Well, we climbed, we unclimbed, and now we're here. I hope Gramps really is at the launch pad. I'm still not sure how to get there. Hey, I can see a pipe that's connected to the rocket. Good eye, Fry. The pipe is definitely big enough for Agent 3 to fit through. What could go wrong? Very brave to volunteer Agent 3 like that. <laughs> Oh damn, we got ooze. Hey, so this has been bugging me. Why are you after the treasure anyway? Just cause treasure? We're doing it for Splatsville. Not everyone there is as fresh as we are. Some of them are really hurting. That's right. We plan to sell the treasure and divide the profits among the needy. We'll allow a sh we'll keep a shallow cut. Haha. <laughs> well, you're actually heroes, and here we thought well, I don't want to say what we thought. Oh, thanks, boss. Thanks, boss. You're the boss. Okay, we can't go through there. Oh, but we do have the ability to target it. I feel like you're this deep in, they wouldn't make you go back. So, the requirement either has to be really low, or like... You can't break it. Because, I don't know, it's like... <laughs> it'd be weird to lock you out of being able to open this, this deep in, where you ha can't... It's hard to back out, and then you have to come all the way back. I mean, I'm not struggling. But for anyone that may have gotten here with like zero eggs or very low amount. We'll have to see. Yeah, this music is <laughs> very strange. It's reminiscent of a lot of horror games trying to have weird old timey sounding music nowadays to be like creepy. 
no way to open that? Okay, that was just an obstacle then. I wonder, could we have gone down here without it? We can. <laughs> this is just to go through fast. Oh. I mean, yeah, we didn't need to. We could have, <laughs> we didn't need to activate that. It was just to get through faster, I guess. The spirit lifter, steerage. We're in. Looks like we've got more climbing to do. We'll be rooting for you safely from the ground, far, far below. <laughs> safely from the ground, far, far below. There was no ellipses there. I don't need to take that second pause of the sentence. Yeah, the only reason to not use small fry to kill enemies is just because it takes a bit to pick him back up and then throw him again. Nicely done. Still a long way to go, but you'll get there in no time. Oh, he actually got him. But now he respawns hella fast because I got my upgrades back. I wonder if we'll get Calamari Incantation playing again, or some other equally very good finale music. Splatoon's usually very good with its finale music, so I'm keen. Such heavy security in here, I hate that. I think I missed one that said keep up the good work. And all this ooze that I can't clean up is bugging me. Was that supposed to be like that? That was very close. Maybe I could have built up a bit more speed, but I don't know. God. I mean, you do think about it sometimes that like, oh, well, you know, dying in one of the final areas is like, oh, you get all the way to the end of your journey and then they just die. And it's like, oh, well, whoops. You know, you sure you can make that jump? Cause I'm not. Haha. -ha. Um. But I mean, here it's literally like, oh, we make it all the way to the top and then whoops, they accidentally touch a bit of fur and now, <laughs> okay, well, so much for saving Gramps. That was intense. Hammer, this should be good. An ultra stamp, press the arm, wham, slam, bam, got it? There we go, I was reminded of the name. All oh, right, we had that mission where we had to break all the bowling balls with this weapon, so. Looks like you can take a quick breather. So that <laughs> was just building on that, which is nice. And then, yeah, that's just where they spawn from. Okay. Hold on. Oh, that's the zap. The great zapfish is in that huge container. So this is where it's been. We need to bring it back, but you know, later or something. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot that that was what we originally were out here for because it basically just turned into save Captain Cuttlefish. But yeah, there's the zapfish. <laughs> I'll finally be able to have him back in the plaza. What is this? The spirit lift of first class. Launch preparations nearing completion. Please exercise care dear closing bulkheads. Rude? It shut us out. Guess that weighs a no-go. 
Hmm. Hold on. Look at those floating energy cores. What the heck? They're like little zapfish. And that's a switch. Look at me, I'm helping. Okay, hear me out. We get the energy cores, we flip the switch, and then something, right? Well, now, unless we try, let's steal them. Interesting new mechanic to throw in right at the end. Yeah, you get, it's a little, little zapfish. Enemies are no longer a threat to me. Aha! Zip Carter, that'll make collecting energy cores easier for sure. You gotta stretch your arm and really stick with it. Oh, it's permanent. I thought it was, I had to activate it. I didn't notice I'd already changed. That's good that it's permanent. Got him, nice work. Oh, I didn't have to climb up here. See, even in the finale, they still gotta be like, oh, here's another zip caster level for you. Emergency systems activated, releasing bulkhead number one. No, we're getting somewhere. There's still another bulkhead and more energy cores. Get after him, Agent 3. Okay, see, so yeah, they had to squeeze in one last zip caster level. They weren't content with three. I guess that's where I was supposed to go. Uh. Okay, yeah. Oh boy. I guess this one. Activation failed, insufficient energy. Oh yeah, and this... Using the Zipcaster with the full hero gear, so we're stronger now than we were before in the other levels. Hold on, I'm getting a signal. There are five remaining. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Okay, oh, I guess wait for it to go down here and then go this way. Maybe? Maybe not. There we go. They wanted you to jump to get that one. Come on, back down, please. That'd be horrible if they just let you fly right into the ooze. I'm just gonna jump for this one. Nope, didn't work. What am I supposed to do then? Okay. I was worried I would accidentally. Hit the ooze. But I, you know, barely even made it even trying to hold back. So, well, I was like, I'll just hold it forward the whole time and I, I won't hit the ooze. It's fine. Emergency systems releasing bulkhead 2. That was fire! Hey, well she was team fire, so she knows all about that. I think that's the way out. I bet it opens the same way as the bulkheads. Keep cool, you're almost there. Final checkpoint. Oh, hello. You can't see me anymore, even though you saw me get in. You have to pretend you didn't see me. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's definitely all of them. Let's head to the exit. That's a little annoying. Releasing door lock. Emergency systems activated. Bro, what if the final level is like Zipcaster? They really love that special, huh? Not giving any love to the crab tank. Alright, no, we're just, we're here now. There are three components to my business plan. The vessel, the spirit, and the wisdom of ages. Someone is taking notes, yes? What are you blathering around about? Hey, don't come any closer! Your brain. As cods throw it may be in your hideous form contains the beautiful essence I need. Leave my brain out of this! Hey, what's that for? Get away from me! Ah! Oh, goodness. Um, it seems things are going kind of badly for Gramps right now. Yeah, I hope his brain can hold out until we get there. Please hurry, Agent 3. What is going to be up here? This is good. To be a visionary in business and in life, one must be prepared to make tough decisions. I must leverage the suffering of my employees into a brighter, fuzzier future for all. So I have seen other stamps people have had, brad badges, of cuttlefish with a weird head. So, I'm wondering if that has anything to do with that last story, uh, alternate log, not story scroll. Alrighty. Oh, little cutscene. Oh, here we are. Gramps, we're here to save you. What on earth? What? Oh my god. Gramps, no! Dehydrated in his prime. Oh. Whoa! Welcome. The Earth Sign Anomaly at number three, Mr. Grizz. Number three? Hey, you overgrown furball. Turn Gramps back into Gramps. Valued employees, we appreciate your feedback. However, it will not be implemented at this time. Oof. What's that supposed to mean? What is this music? This is Wallace and Gromit music. Oh, we're going to space. This is literally Waltz and Grumman music. He's huge! It means the end of your employment. And the end of the world as you know it, to be clear. As per my memo, I will be coding the planet in fuzzy ooze in an effort to restore balance. Don't call it Hermageddon. HR doesn't like it. <laughs> oh my god. He looked like the dehydrated squid in the story scroll. No, the rocket. Gramps. Oh no. He's a dried squid. He's, he's all dried up. But how? Oh, there you go. You just need a little bit of water. Oh, that, a little, little bit of water. Literally. Oh my, don't tell me he can fly. Huh? Phew, somebody got the drop on me. Anybody else feeling a bit parched? Also feeling a bit lighter and way flatter. Talking squid jerky, you're alive? <laughs> Thank goodness you're, uh, all right-ish. Hey, wait, we're still in danger. The rocket, the fuzz. But we'll never catch that rocket. It's impossible. What can we do? Hold up a sec. Sounds like you folks need some help. And Deep Cut is here to steal the spotlight. Swirling up, eels. Hey, yo. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Oh. Well then. 
Your turn, Master Beggar. They could just summon these things? At will? Phew! Oh, wow. Stay fresh up there, kid! Bro, look at this outfit! Go, Agent 3! The fate of the world is in your hands! You too, little small fry. Oh, he's slowly making his way up by flying somehow. Okay, that was really cool. No big man manta ray or anything. It just gave you a little bit of headphones. We're in space, straight up. This is Bayonetta 1's ending. Yes, we did it! Or that one scene at the end of Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Wait, where is Mr. Greer's? Oh, goodness. Where's DJ Octavio? Well, well, such dedication to your work. I think you've earned yourself a break. Now come here so I can break you. Okay, I've got a bunch of big eggs to get here. Oh my god, this music. And never mind. It's oh, it's the Savaron music. And he's launching missiles at me. These are big eggs. Gold egg, you might be able to use that. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, please tell me it's Mario Galaxy physics. Nope, I don't think so, and I don't want to chance it. Oh my god, he's using specials. Uh, yeah, okay. That's cool, they're putting this in the boss fight. Nice work, Agent 3, and Small Fry 2. Keep going. Okay, this is a pretty cool boss fight. Oh, whoa, big Splatana slashes. Oh, because it's him doing like a bear claw slash. Okay. What's up with the Uzi splotches on his belly? This doesn't cut through, does it? Okay, it doesn't. Oh, can I? Oh, I have to shoot it. First ball came out. Oh, whoa. It's like eating him. You're not clucking out that easily. And we're using a salmon to fight him. Oh, wow. As someone who loves salmon run, this is pretty good. More fuzzy ooze. Music's a bit anticlimactic though. An epic version would have been interesting. You know, like an orchestral rendition of the salmon run theme. Oh, this is a little better. What's he doing? Rolling over. Making the whole rocket rotate. Oh boy. Move with the rotation, Agent 3. So yeah, now we are Mario Galaxy. <laughs> By force. Keep it up, you're halfway through a full rotation. Do it, I can't see. Okay. I guess he stopped rotating. So how is he shooting that out? What is the explanation they're giving? Okay, that's not the right thing. Forgot that I switched over. Okay, can you chew that up for me? You have damage up. Literally eating him. A setback, but this is a growth industry. <laughs> All these like work related plays on words. Not quite puns. Where'd he go? Now he's gonna be gigantic. Because he said growth. I mean, he's already huge. But is he bigger or? 
I think it's the same. Okay, this is more like the music I was expecting. Hooey! You gonna make me jump? Nope. Okay, well... <laughs> we made it pretty far, but unfortunately... They missed the jump and now the world is doomed. So how are we supposed to get over? We're we just supposed to dodge for a bit until he starts turning it again? Okay, he just shoots random stuff out of his body. Nope. How am I supposed to get over there? I guess I have to get right at that little corner there to get over. Why does it take so long to respawn, man? There we go. I'm just bad. <laughs> oh no! Well, that's not fair, is it? Okay, well, let's go for that first then, since he's not going to give me an opportunity to stand there and wait for it to open. Or I guess let's just open it up while we're over here rather than over there. Let's stand somewhere a little more safe. Goodness me, man. Look like he's gonna roll again. Brace yourself. Excuse me. Get out of my sight. Ah, uh, this is gonna be a little trickier because there's gonna be more stuff in the way. Keep an eye out for eggs. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Did you stop jumping out of my backpack when I need you? Mr. Chris is sitting down. He's up to something. Oh! Kill a whale. Okay, let's get this open immediately, shall we? Finish your stage in three now. You are proactive, aren't you? It's time to clock out. In a few moments, Earth will be ruled by mammals once again. What the hell on Earth? You may have beat my ass, but now I'm just going to press the button that lets me win in the cutscene. <gasps> no way, I was wondering where he is. Let's go! Yeah, not if I crush your big finish. You're not dropping this beat on our turf. My favorite character, let's go. We'll hype you from up. We'll hype you up from here, Agent 3. Listen up, it's going down. Repping the Splatlands, we are deep cut. Ready up there? Let's bust that bear. Hey, hey. You lip sync, we drip ink. Shiver frying big man! Oh, our turn? Hit it! That heavenly melody. There it is. Calamari Incantation 3 mix. Okay. Now this is more fitting of a cool final boss. End of a trilogy. 
And now, for some reason, he has some sort of magic in him. I guess a salmon its first time hearing calamari incantation. Look, marine life energy is flowing up there. Streams of light. Three lights united to consume the disaster. As it was foretold, behold, huge fry. Oh yeah! Oh my God! He's a big fish now, and it's different from all the other salmonids too. I'm gonna have to read those story scrolls again. Small fry, Mr. Grizz got hugeified. They're so adorable. Yo! The bear is filled with fuzzy ooze. Eliminate the fuzz balls to help huge fry. Oh, just caught in the captain down there. He's trying to deliver the fuzzy ooze himself. You've got to stop him. How is this gonna work? Return of the Mammalians. There's the title drop. You ooze, you lose. Get back to Ursa Weiner. <laughs> you ready, Octavio? Yeah, <laughs> pilot hatch unlocked. First balls meet my ink back. Hop in, Agent 3. You heard him. Steer the Octobot King and vacuum those fuzzballs up. <sighs> we have only 3 minutes and 33 seconds before he slams into the earth. Hurry. Nothing with ZL and use L to steer and move forward. The ink back will stretch way out there if you hold ZR. Oh, I have to get out. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, it's working. They're just standing there yelling at each other for now. More fuzzballs up ahead. Get the next one. Yo, Octavio, check it out. Oh, damn, he's ramming into him. There are fake fuzzballs floating out there. Be careful. You can't suck up the fakes. Yikes. Okay, just avoid them then. Okay, whoops. No, don't hit my little buddy. Oh, there we go. I wasn't close enough. Okay, okay. Only two left. Yo, look at him go. Fishzilla versus King Grizz. His back is wide open. Suck it up. Get out of my way. Oh, get these assholes off my ship. That's weird, it's got the same slashing effect as the treasure did. But this inkback is definitely way different than it was when he fought us. Just one more to go. Whoa. This is it, Agent 3. It's now or never. Oh, yo, he's got him. Go huge fry and get in there. I'm glad I wasn't spoiled on this. Keep holding him down. All right, I can't use small fry right now. That's how they nerf you. There you go, if I just get right into it, I don't have to aim. Oh my God. Get away from me. There we go. You got all the fuzzballs. Now what? He's still on the move. I'll tell you what, we fire that fuzz right back. Blast the stuffing out of him with ZR. That's an order from the captain. First rule of the battlefield. Never give up. Booyah! Big old laser. Let's go. Oh, what happened to him? Seems all my work has been for nothing. The times have changed. The world could never be as it was. Moving forward is the future. I suppose this is it then. You will not receive severance pay. <laughs> oh, 
there you go, there's the ink. <gasps> He's back to little again. Okay, good. We get to keep him. I wish we knew more about why he's our friend. <laughs> Hopefully we can survive the heat of re-entry. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, he's all the way at the top of that spire there, I guess. Okay, interesting final boss. Uh, I mean, it's more of a fight than Octo Expansion because that was literally just a turf war. Versus a big statue. And then the final hit was a cool cutscene with, like, Pearl having a big clash between her, like, big scream and then, like, Tartar's, like, cannon. I think that was how it went. And that was cool. This one was actual gameplay where you had to shoot him, which I liked, but it kind of, I don't know, felt a little less cinematic that way because we were just kind of like shooting at him. It would have been nice if we got a little bit of actually seeing the blast in like a cooler camera angle from the, with a cutscene, but fantastic finale. I was worried for a second because the rocker part was cool, but not quite as cool as some of the other final bosses. That last part was fantastic. Let's watch the fight, the, this pit now, I guess. Listen up, it's going down. Ripping the Splatlands, we are deep cut. Anarchy Splatcast, we're live. Here we go. You will sink, we drip ink. Shiver frying big man. I can barely contain myself. What is it, big man? Breaking news. Is this about the return of the Great Zapfish? Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. What? Oh, right, yeah. I mean, in general, the Zapfish. We, yeah, we all forgot about it. Is that how it always looked? <laughs> Who cares? It's safe. Yay! Is that all you got, big man? What's next? So, does the Great Zapfish just travel from city to city? Because it's always in whatever the main city is for the game you're playing. But they're all different cities, you know? One and two are separate places, so it's like, it, what, just a, one city gets to keep it for that year? They keep moving it, and then it gets stolen, and then brought back? No, there's more broken news! That's... that's breaking. So, hurry up and break it already. Oh, let me guess, this is about the new Squid Sisters single, right? Oh, do you have new outfits for them? More casual, looking nice. Because if so, yeah, I've heard about it. And yeah, I'm big mad about it. I accidentally almost skipped that. Wait, it says Squid Sisters on the label, but look at these two. Is it really them? That's Boss Marie! <laughs> and her assistant lady. Oh, wow. Why you gotta do that to Kelly? They're the Squid Sisters? How, how, what, how could you not tell? They didn't even wear any facial covering at all, like the, like they did in the first game, where they had like the face masks on. Forgive us, boss ladies. They really are our bosses. Deep Cut will open for the Squid Sisters any time. When are we going on tour? Yes, great idea, Shiver. Deep Cut and the Squid Sisters World Tour. Well, until then, let's just play their latest. Here's Wave Goodbye. Catch you later. So this this should be our credits now, right? Oh, oh, is it a shooting game? Alrighty then. Oh goodness, what is this? Is there any point to this ink, or...? This is not doing anything. 
It's not like it was in the, um... In the other games where you could actually sh cover the wall with ink. Cool that we, like, <laughs> went to space and stuff for the valley. Also, these names are cool that they have all these different fonts that look cool. But yeah, I guess thoughts... Pretty good story mode. You know, Splatoon is usually good with story mode. It's the best part of the game, aside from Salmon Run. Um, so, you know, it didn't disappoint. And, you know, I've said time and time again, it definitely feels like... Um, Octo Expansion was a heavy inspiration. I don't know if they had some sort of way of, like seeing people's feedback and how much they liked it or if it was that like oh so many people really really loved octo expansion yeah you know they find it they found that out some way and that that is the case that people really liked it so it's like oh well let's do that again for this story mode make it more like that i mean because most of the levels like the simple levels are like yeah that's pretty much how the normal story mode was and in this way, it's better because it's like, oh, you know, now you get to go in with more weapons without having to buy an amiibo to do it or whatever. Even though, you know, maybe that would give the amiibo <laughs> some value outside of just a costume. Um, but... Yeah, I mean... It is better than normal story mode, but, like, the aesthetic of, like... I mean, and I guess you are just walking around in kettles, I don't know. It's not that different. Oh, look, there's Mr. Cruz. It's, it's a bit, I guess it's not really taking away anything. It's only adding stuff. And so it's just the aesthetic of like the, the computer processing you through stuff and you selecting weapons and stuff, as opposed to just going into a level and playing it. So I guess it is better this way. Although that begs, that Begs the question, how is the DLC going to be? What's, how is that going to work if this is like all over unless it's like a continuation or some other new threat? Also, the, I guess, yeah, this is our look at what the planet looks like in, um, in this era, post-apocalyptic. Look at all those lights on the outlines of <laughs> countries. Uh... Yeah, so it's definitely- it didn't disappoint, the story mode. It was good, got some good boss fights. Um... The final stuff was cool. Great implications for this overall story and lore with like Mr. Grizz was doing this stuff the whole time, like preparing to take over the world with the eggs we were giving him. So how does this change Salmon Run now? We go back and he's just hanging there, chilling, like it's all good. I said this before about Deep Cut, but now they're our friends. So it's like, oh yeah, now we go and meet them and now we're going to be extra friendly to them. And I'll, I'll have to see if there's any different animations when you gaze at them in the window. But yeah, what, we're just gonna go up in Turf War and he's gonna be like, Hey, sorry, I tried to take over the world. You know, but like, still get me some eggs though. Those salmons, oh, gotta kill them. But yeah, that was really cool too, how we straight up, we used a salmon to fight him. And then it turned into a giant salmon that wrestled with him. So that was really cool. And the final thing, and like, Octavia finally came back. He did come back. Goodness knows where he's been this whole time. But he finally came back just in time for the finale to help for the cool final, final boss stuff. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous. So yeah, just in terms of design and like what was happening, very good. Maybe not the best fight. I mean, I don't know. Using the Rainmaker and the Splatoon 2 final boss was pretty sick. Take a screenshot of that one. Thank you for playing.
That was very fun. Thank you for making it. Oh, here we go. Hero mindset replica. Is this just the normal gear that we've been wearing for story mode? It's not the cool space gear we had at the end there? Okay, so this is this. Also, do we get the, the version without where we were broken? Do we get that version? Suit hero boots. Hero shot replica. And it's just a reskin of the splatter shot, I assume. It doesn't have- it's not overpowered. <laughs> but yeah, it has ink suka and suction bomb. I could- maybe I could get behind that. I'm not a big fan of suction bombs. Because it can't even roll like the regular bombs can. And it's still just a huge chunk of ink wasted. And it has to stay there. Like, there's literally no movement. It hits something, that's it. You better hope they're not paying attention. You got a sticker! You can pick it up at the lobby terminal. I'm definitely using that one. I think I saw other people using it too, but thankfully I was doing my best to avoid it when I could. Okay, yeah, so when I saw stuff with, like, Cuttlefish with his weird head, I never assumed it would be... He literally turns into a weird head. What the heck did he do to Cuttlefish? A secret kettle appeared. See where it takes you. It's not really a secret, is it? You're telling me about it. I mean, it's good that they tell you about it, otherwise you'd never know you go get it. But is it secret where it is? Like... I don't know. Also, okay, so I haven't done the secret kettle yet. I, well, I mean, I, I figured it was separate, but it's just we already fought Mr. Grizz, you know? Oh, well, there you go. No splat cast, we'd press the buttons and we're right in already. And we can check the the badge we got. Story mode cleared. Okay, yeah, it is. For some reason it looked pale to me before, or maybe a little on the edges it looks a little bit yellowy, but it is still the red colour that he has on himself because I was like, he looks a little more like red and vibrant on the actual thing than it does on this thing here. Uh, I mean, I have Octavio for now, because he's like my favorite character. And then Callie is up there as well. Murray I just had for now, because it was better than any of the other ones I had. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll put this on for a bit. Maybe I'll change it to something else, but... Gotta mark it off at some point, right? And maybe I'll put the Secret Kettle one on for a bit too, but... I don't know. I know what it looks like, like I said. Because everyone has it. It's hard to avoid. But... I don't know. I'll wear it for a bit and then change it to something else again. This is just to show my completion, I suppose. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I literally can't do anything. I try and go into the lobby to check stuff and it kicks me out. I'm just trying to check my stuff, man. Oh, there we go. At least it didn't kick me out fully. Oh man, it's been a while since I've heard this song. What do we get? There we go, got all our stuff. Should be interesting. Oh, I guess that's just a sticker, really. We don't really get a good look at it. They didn't take the photo in the story mode, either. We don't really even get to see them take the picture. Yeah, ugh. And then, yeah, we got this thing. People have bounced again. Memories of old Turner. It's a very tiny photo. You can barely see it. No wonder I was easy, easily able to avoid it. Oh, we've got a lot of good stuff to decorate my locker with now, so... I'll have to decorate it later and see how good it looks. Whoa! Oh, whoa! The thing has changed.
That's really cool. Okay, I was wondering if it was different and straight up they got... Was it huge fry was what they called it? Small fry when he was huge is now eating the bear. Oh no, because before it was the bear with like a salmon in his mouth, right? Now it's the salmon with a bear in his mouth. We can't, still can't talk to him. That's cool though. Probably still gonna have dialogue in the actual mission though, I bet. I'll have to see later. That's really cool. I'm glad I came and checked that. But then... Hmm... Makes me wonder... Um... What the purpose of getting all these eggs is now, other than just to stop the salmon, I guess. You know, if we're... Potentially not giving them to Mr. Grizz anymore. Hmm. Oh well. Let's go check out this secret kettle and then maybe see if this changes once again. New cutscene. Yep. Agent 3, Agent 3. I'm so glad you're okay. I mean, I knew you would be. Nicely done. Oh god, there's cuttlefish in the back. We saw- <laughs> I think that was the wrong voice for a second. Anyway. Yeah, that was Shiver's voice for a second. We saw it all. The daring, the bravery, the incredible skills. Who knew Small Fry could do all that? And, and you were there too. <laughs> yeah, Agent 3 basically saved the planet. Does anyone other than us even realize that? Being a hero? Well, it's a real trip. A voyage, if you will. Some kind of tour where you go places. Booyah. Ah, <laughs> uh, well said, Gramps. Oh, the captain was full of praise for you too. There was a heartfelt nod of approval. I saw that booyah. Here, here. Well, until next time, stay fresh. <laughs> okay, fun little cutscene from them. Now, can I see this secret kettle on the map? I'm not going for it immediately, I'm just wondering if there's- if I have to actually look for it or what. I would assume it's somewhere here. It might even just be like over there. Oh, no, it's literally, <laughs> it's literally over there. <gasps> okay, so much for looking for it. I can talk to all of them now. Gramps sure is spry for being so, well, dry. You know that hero suit used to belong to the captain, right? Take good care of it. Who's running Rusco Industries these days? It's business as usual, even now. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. we have turned out to be quite the agent, agent. Agent 3, Agent 3. Very nicely done. Have you noticed that the walls are meant to look like the sky? Just like in the Octarian bases. Some old dialogue. I wonder if Agent 3 can sing. We could use a backup, backup vocalist. Use a vacation at the end of this. No, wait, a leave of absence. We'll go for a slice of pineapple pizza. Hold the pineapple. Wait, why am I standing? I could totally sit down. What am I, this perks agent for everyone? Captain should chime in once or twice, if you ask me. Yeesh. I wonder if Agent 3 can sing. Captain says, get your gear in gear. Battle can come at any time. Good advice, I say. Hmm, Captain, did you say something? Oh, guess not. Just overheard the Captain feeling nostalgic. I remember when Captain Cuttlefish gave me this hat. Rule the battlefield from the Captain. If things get too hairy, duck behind a wall and take a breather. Always keep one eye on your escaper. Yeah, this is just old dialogue. Alright, Kelly, what do you have to say? Let's get the show on the road, shall we? Who would have thought that there'd be another rocket? Oh! Wait, yeah, that is another rocket. I don't even notice. I don't even think to look. Yeah, you should sure think you should drive the rocket, but what do you think? Doesn't think I should drive the rocket, but what do you think, Agent 3? Then there plenty of power eggs to register for the missions inside the silver kettles. Keep them handy. Is it snack time yet? You're hungry. Wait, did I say that already? What is small ride doing? Let's get the show on the road, shall we? Be another rocket. 
Yeah, that's interesting. Now we can talk to Cuttlefish. You know, you can reconfigure the doodads or whatnot so you're here again, right? Look at the menu. Did you know that upgrading your gear gives Spawn Fry an upgrade too? And doesn't your little buddy deserve it? Hehe, <laughs> still can't believe old Octavio turned out to be not so bad, that rascal. This ain't so bad, but I missed my tropical shirt. Think I can get one in XXD? Extra, extra dehydrated? It's nice that you had your little buddy with you throughout all that. What I wouldn't give for a fresh crabby cake now. How can I help you, Agent 3? Need another pearl of wisdom? Yeah, I wasn't sleeping. That was just tactical eyeball motioning, you see? Still not sure how that sun dried me while I was underground. <laughs> Yesterday's lunch was mighty tasty. Maybe I should have brushed my teeth a bit more carefully. Still not sure how they sun dry me while I was at the ground. That's the same. Okay. Yeah. Where's that one so I can scroll? With? Oh, you can even see it, the leg sticking out there early. How to mummify an inkling. Preserve their bodies after death, they could be revived someday. I guess this is how he's still alive? I don't know. But then why isn't this one alive? Hmm. Well, one other thing before we go to the kettle, there's something I forgot to do. Forgot to look at these guys. Is the animation different? Well, they're a lot more happy to see me, I guess. Well, there you go. Okay. Back to the kettle. Oh, yeah, this is where we first dropped in when we first arrived here, too. That's a gold kettle. After Alterna, three, three, three eggs to get in. Reach the goal to gain access to the something log. Something to read, I guess. Reach the goal, three, three, three. Using hero gear. What's the, is there a significance to three, three, three? Is it just because it's Splatoon three? Because it was three minutes and 33 seconds that we had for the final boss. I'm curious, let's go. No dialogue, clear reward, 3,333. Three is all around. Yeah, we still got our fully upgraded stuff. Okay, so we have our max small fry. Okay, just seems like it's gonna be a Ooh, a big, long, a long level. Oh, that's just part of the scaffolding. So is this just a, a tough, like, final level similar to, um, like the Mario games have? Let's get this thing started. Whoa, watch your step. Oh, there's a bunch of water coming in there. Okay, not too crazy so far. This is just the start though. Doesn't feel like it's gonna be a big crazy level though. You're watching a step, I guess. Is this just, so it's just a big platforming test right at the end, I suppose? Well, not off to a great start. Oh boy. I 
I'm really not good at <laughs> timing my jumps. Alright, I probably could have inked that and that would have helped. Okay, that's I really can't be messing up this early. <laughs> Thank God, small fry is OP now. Uh, no secrets over here. Try another squid search here, Let's just check the area above you and time it right. Okay, there was an egg pack back down there, but that's okay. I don't need it. Oh. So, so far, yeah, this just seems like a get good at maneuvering. You can eat them, yeah, but like, how am I supposed to get there? That'll help differently. Just ink all sides of it. God, really long between checkpoints, huh? Please don't get too crazy with the squid rolls, I'm not good at it. Oh. Ha, now you're just showing off. Oh my goodness, please don't tell me that's the only checkpoint. It didn't say final, there's gotta be at least one other, unless it's literally just... At the end of all this, there is one checkpoint for like a fight at the end, and that's it. Don't even tell me. No, there's gotta be. Okay. I was like, there's no way I was supposed to jump over there. Oh boy. Oh, don't you dare. Okay, good. A backwards squid roll might drop you. Huh. <sighs> Now I gotta do all that again. I mean, I guess I'll try. <laughs> I was gonna just kill myself to get three lives back and start again, but I mean, I don't know. If I can make it to the next checkpoint on this one, then I don't have to worry, right? Why are these guys so good at aiming, man? See, now we're getting impatient. <laughs> I 
Almost didn't make that. That would have been... Oh, well, I guess we're restarting anyway. Okay. So this is just the... The Mario, like... Really long gauntlet challenge that takes forever. Oh boy. The realization of how long this is going to take. a lot of sighing of like, okay, let's get back to it, I guess. Okay, now don't screw it up this time. Because if we die this time, we not only start again, we have to pay. I mean, I've got plenty of stuff I don't have to worry about. Payment. Screw it, I'm not screwed rolling. I could just drop down like that. Okay, that was a little close for comfort. That was also a bit scary. Okay. Nicely done. Oh my god. I don't want to screw up now, I made it so far. At least it's not terribly tough. Oh my goodness. I don't even care that I missed some eggs there. Oh, what is, what's happening now? Okay. <sighs> Water, and I'm guessing that washes off my ink so I can't just ink everything and then let it go. No, it stays. So like I said, I just have to pick the right one to traverse through. Or just ink it all beforehand. Oh, I'm probably not going to be able to make it like this. Yeah, I'd need like a high one like that. Oh my goodness.
No, you gotta be kidding me. I made it all the way there, but I should have taken the time to ink the damn thing. Oh man. Oh. oh well. Unfortunately, it's one of those cases where I'm gonna get really good at the early parts and it's gonna take forever for me to be able to try the part I'm not good at again. Cause like, okay, now go through the entire thing again, all the way to the end, and then you can try the part you screwed up on again. For like a second. Why did I lose all my health there? That's probably not the most efficient way to stay on there. Yeah, that's the worst way to stay on there. Because you squid jump and then you lose all momentum and then you're screwed. I'm glad I cut this off yesterday. I would never have had enough time to get through all this. I don't think it would matter, but evidently uh, pressing the jump button like that is better to get past that before the the wheel catches you. Well, not wheel, but you know. Oh, I thought I missed that for a second. I was going to be angry. I should need to save my anger for <laughs> later when I'm inevitably getting to a harder part of the level. It'd be great if I could see this easier. Unfortunately, this is a dodgy mechanic.
Oh, that's way too close for comfort. Thank God they didn't put a worse enemy there. Oh my God. Okay, we made it back here again. Ugh, at what cost? So we can get up there, but then I need to ink the wall as well while still moving forward. too finicky there. I just need to ink that one again if I come back to it. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <sighs> fucking. I thought it was. It was taking a little too long to show up and I was like, oh shit, go back, I'm gonna land in the water, and then I landed in the water anyway. Because I don't trust the mechanics of this game enough to be... Like, oh, I'll just jump forward. I, tr I know these game mechanics well enough and trust them to know that it'll catch me before I hit the ground. Because <laughs> that level with the cube that kept opening and closing on itself taught me that the game mechanics are finicky and will screw you over if they have the chance when there are moving objects involved. So, you know... Don't blame me for the game's shortcomings. But I pa- I don't know. I made it all the way to the right and then I panicked because I thought the game was gonna screw me over and then instead I just died. Uh, I don't even know what's after this. This could, like, it might not even be a checkpoint after this. It might just be more of the level, and if I die, then I have to go back past that part. I keep forgetting there's a squid jump there. I don't know why. I've done it so many times now.
I can see why people are calling this the hardest level now. I don't even know if I'll keep all this in. I might have to cut around it because of how long it's going to take. Why didn't that work? Why didn't that work? I'm always so scared of that jump and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I didn't even make it the whole way. I held forward and it just shot me off to the side and said, nah, you didn't make it. God, I'm going to run out of time today just from this level alone. Will you go away? Worst enemy in the game. His spirit. <laughs> His smile and optimism gone. His spirit broken. Like, <sighs> so, so I was right saying stuff like, oh, I can't be like screwing up this early. This, goodness knows how long this level is. See, now this would have been it. Would have been a good level for the zip caster. <laughs> Just let me skip to the end. Now I see why everyone wears that badge with pride. <laughs> like, hey, I beat the secret level. It's like, yeah, good on ya. I can see why people. It's the same as the. Uh, the. The hairpin, the Takoyaki hairpin from Octo Expansion to show that you beat Memory Agent 3. Because that shit sucks. Almost back there again. How did I die there last time, man? And now we're back here again. I don't even know where this goes. It's just a launch pad. It could go anywhere. 
This might not. This might only be halfway. There might be like a million more <laughs> parts of this level that make it go on forever. Oh, please be a checkpoint. <laughs> Almost missed the jump there, I would have cried. You made it. Let's see where that launch pad takes you. Oh. Okay, this is a good sign. It's a loading screen. Game save. Please be a checkpoint. Okay, good. Oh, that was just part one. Oh no. Well, this is a little nicer, at least. Okay. At least this is the checkpoint now. <laughs> if this is like the first like level of like five or something and I'm already this upset, this is- that is not a good sign. <sighs> I should have known. There's no way they could have been done with their beloved target levels. At least we have a- good weapon for it. Why does it take so long to switch paths? What the heck was that? If I die somewhere later than now, doing that part is going to be real annoying on repeat parts. I thought I was done for there. <sighs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> Oh, you asshole! you have to break that or it won't catch you. That was so intense. Okay. You're not done yet, but keep it up. Well, that was a lot more bearable than the last one. I'm scared for what they have coming next, though. Oh, boy. Soaker blocks. Oh. Soaker blocks in here. You probably don't need an explanation for those by now, right? Nope, should be easy peasy for Agent 3 and little small fry. I'm not doing a screw jump up there, you kidding? Although, it would be faster movement, but it takes so long to charge up. Unless, of course, I'm supposed to throw him over there. Oh, wow. Damage up means he does that faster, too. Damn.
No, don't shoot him. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to squid jump up there. I hate squid jumping, it's so finicky. What am I supposed to do there? Oh dear, okay. Okay, there's gonna be a jump. Region 3, move it! Oh my god, I don't have time for this. Now what? Okay, good. Okay, next checkpoint. Damn, an actual second checkpoint in the level. Oh, so far, that, that part was way easier than the first one. <laughs> oh man. Don't you make me jump off there. What? Oh. <sighs> what, the Octo Missile Commuter Train? That's obvious, huh? Okay. Gotta wait for that to go away now. Ha! <laughs> Slippery shoes. Uh-oh. Don't do that. Oh, that's mean. You gotta get rid of it enough to get rid of the purple part. But not make it yellow so that it'll block your path again. Oh, that's evil. <laughs> Okay, I'm feeling like I could be more patient with this though, so... Okay. I was worried I wasn't gonna make that. Oh wow. Finally, commuting is stressful. Nice work, let's move on. That was so much easier than the first part. God damn. It's already, oh. Maybe this is good enough for its own uh, video. Oh, this one's probably gonna be combat then. Is that the goal back there? Like way back there? Oh, the goal, the goal. Okay, well, combat should be a lot easier with my fully upgraded small fry. Uh-oh, enemies incoming. And I've got stealth too. Oh, they have the... 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 Kelp the seaweed on them.
Really? They're not distracted by him? Oof, get these brush people out of here. No one I can see exactly where they are, too. Get devoured. Is that all of them? Nope, that was not all of them. Well. Ooh. <laughs> she tried to find me. Oh, don't let me die to a roller. Get out of my sight. That was the last of them, right? Nope, there's gonna be one more. Oh, and they have specials. Oh my god. Okay, this is a little scarier now that I know they use specials, but that's why I've got my stealth ink. Start over, no way. Don't ever let me accidentally hit that. <sighs> oh, okay, so you have to do all this again. It gets a little tough at the end there, but it's not too bad. I just have to take it slow. The heck, where's my armor gone? Oh, oh goodness me. Yeah, don't take the cane special right away. This should be the last one, because they're all using specials now.
Are you kidding me? Oh, this stupid art. They shouldn't be able to shoot you when you're using ink splashdown. That's dumb. That's a base mechanic of the game that's always been dumb, always will be dumb, and it's dumb, and I hate it. Well, at least it's literally just this. Just fighting enemies over and over again. It's not a huge, long platforming segment that takes forever to get through. <sighs> I can't be losing my armor that early to, like, random stray shots that shouldn't have got me. Come on! It's bullshit. Maybe this will finally get me to get good at combat normally. getting like flashbacks of playing turf war and doing awful against all the enemies uh. build up my defenses I can see where they all are. The special- when they start throwing around specials is where things get complicated though. Because I can't really hide when they're throwing around tenor missiles and wave breakers and stuff like that. How many of them are there, man? Oh, man! One more.
Amazing Engine 3, you really showed him. Was that it? Did I do it without even using specials? You were so fresh out there. Congrats. <sighs> oh yeah, dude. Only 16 minutes, clearly. Was that... The whole thing? The first part felt like the hardest part. The third part was kind of tricky. The second part was not too bad. Just felt like a normal level with less checkpoints. Oh, that's it. All right. All right, I guess I did it. Alternan World Champ. I'll take it. Oh. Oh, what? Teddy Band. Oh, that's it. Just a hat. All right. I know there's a stamp too, but okay, well. I guess that's the whole level. I did the whole thing. Man, all right. Maybe this can be its own episode. <laughs> oh, okay. Log.exe. Return of the Mammalians. Time for some lore. Recall for a moment the first apocalypse that devastated the human race. Those who escaped into the caverns of Alterna were not the sole survivors. There were others who escaped via a giant rocket ship, the Ark Polaris. Launched in the nick of time, the ship was laden with many of Earth's species that had been placed in a cold sleep. This, the mission was simple. Find another planet to replace the Earth. Okay. Considering the circumstances of its launch, Polaris had a smooth voyage. The Polaris had a smooth voyage until it reached the edge of the solar system. It was at that point that, de that debris struck the vessel, damaging its navigation system. The crew was able to turn the ship around and head back to Earth, toward Earth, but the effort was in vain. There was not enough fuel to attempt a landing. The Ark Polaris drifted aimlessly for 10,000 years. What, like, above Earth? It couldn't- wait. So they got back to Earth, but they couldn't land. I mean, what, you- Wouldn't they have had momentum to keep moving and then eventually just crash land? Okay. Eons passed. The once stable orbit of the Polaris decayed over time until the ship found itself in the inescapable pull of the Earth's gravity. Until the ship, yeah. Re-entry was not kind to its inhabitants. All perished save one. Oh no. So bear number three, an experimental subject who had retained consciousness within his cold hibernation, survived. What, so he was aware and alive for all those 10,000 years? It's cold hibernation. An experimental subject who retained consciousness within his cold hibernation survived for 12,000 years. He had dreamed and plotted. This feels like the... The, um... The log you get at the end of Nier Automata after you finish ending E, and they just give you a huge, long... text scroll to read that sums up the whole story and what it all meant. As summed up by... The wonderfully named NPC Jackass. So this kind of feels like that, which is good because I wanted to know this stuff. I was hoping this would be what was in the log. Fully awakened bear number three. Number 03, whatever. It's number three. Bear number three came to a terrible realization. Um... He had not landed on a new planet at all, he was back on Earth, and yet it was not an Earth he knew. This Earth, it seemed, was dominated by sea creatures, not a single mammal to be found. Uh, it was not an Earth he knew. This Earth, it seemed, was dominated by sea creatures, not a single mammal to be found. In the course of his search for even a single fellow mammal, Okay. 
In the course of his search for even a single fellow mammal, Bear Number 3 used navigational equipment from the wreckage of the Ark Polaris to discover Old Turner. It was a wasteland, of course, but a few of the liquid crystals that had once covered the walls and ceiling remained. With knowledge built during his thousands of years of dreaming, he repaired some of Old Turner's facilities and began researching the crystal. This is a smart bear. Well, I guess he's had thousands of years to dream. Thousands of years of dreaming, he repaired some of Alterna's facilities and began researching the crystals. Uh, this research bore fruit when bear number three compounded some of the liquid crystals with his own fur. The experiment created an entirely new substance with one terrifying property. It could transform any living creature into a mammal. Bear number three realized the implications immediately. He could restore the planet to a mammalian paradise. He began stockpiling fuzzy ooze, as he called it, within Alterna's still intact rocket. For such a venture, he would require the acquisition of thousands of golden eggs. Why golden eggs though? Is that like a power source? Any living creature into a mammal. Why does he need power eggs for that? Or golden eggs? For such adventure, he would require the acquisition of thousands of golden eggs. Uh, these were used- oh, I'll just keep reading, dumbass. These were used in the creation of the fuzzy ooze, although the exact details had never been recorded in my memory banks. Oh, fucking never mind then. Creation of fuzzy ooze. Oh, uh, never been recorded in my memory banks. But bear number three had a plan. He founded a corporation that would go on to employ locals to collect his golden eggs under the name Grizzco Industries. Like to collect his golden eggs. Mr. Grizz, as he was now known, would pay handsomely for them. So yeah, we were literally funding his exploits as the main villain of three. With fuzzy ooze production peaking thanks to the assistance of unsuspecting inklings and octolings, Mr. Grizz took the final steps to set his plan in motion. The rocket was loaded, it wouldn't be long now. Oh yeah, we're just not gonna know what he was using um, Cuttlefish's, like, brain for? Like, what, he took his brain out, but he's still here? I guess he's talking weird now, but, you know, that's like, oh, so he doesn't completely just die and lose all brain function. He's just... You know, a weirdo now, because cartoon logic. But, yeah, what, what, what did he need Cuttlefish's brain for? They didn't explain that part. Also, I thought the secret kettle was gonna- cause the- I mean, might as well go and look now. Let me go see if these guys have anything new to say now that I've finished that. Also, I guess, yeah, it doesn't show up on the- on the arm um, here at all. And I can't super jump to it or anything. Do you guys say anything new? You cleaned more kennels than a server at the world's biggest tea house. That's all of them. It's nice that you had your little buddy with you throughout all that. How's that hero still treating you? You ever get around to washing it? This is all bad, but I miss my tropical shirt. That look in your eyes, still the look I was looking for. The look never lies. Never lies. Yeah, 
Yeah, so... Who's running Grisco? I know, someone else with that exact same look. You think being the boss is fun? Then you can review these deep cut expense reports. <laughs> then you can review it. Quite the agent, Agent 3. Quite the Agent 3. Wish I could read all the strange writing around here. Okay, the nostalgic camera when he gave me this hat. Thank you for joining the new Squid Big Splatoon, Agent 3. Is it snack time yet? You hungry? Do you have a favourite Squid Sisters track? Bomb Rush Blush. Have you been upgrading your hero gear? Yes. Yes, you did say that already. Alright, well... Let's go look at that thing I was gonna get. This is the exit. Boy. You got a new badge. Well, <laughs> sorry, Captain Cuttlefish. <laughs> this didn't last long, did it? Secret kettle found and cleared. Well, Having actually played the story mode myself, I feel a little more like, oh yeah, I like the way this badge looks. You know what? Why not? And yeah, after how tough that was, I'm wearing this with pride. <laughs> okay, I don't think it changed, but let's go check Grisco one last time. Yeah, nah, it's just the salmon in here still. So yeah, where are these eggs going to then if Gr Mr. Grizz ain't here anymore? I wonder. He speaks during the tutorial, didn't he? Let's see if he still talks during the tutorial. What are you doing here? I guess they didn't want to do anything different from the... I guess they didn't want to record anything different for this. Here's the thing though. <laughs> Great. So, like, so is this supposed to take place before the story mode, technically? Any Samurai sessions you do here? Because he still talks to you. But like, Big Run isn't out yet, and a lot of people can finish the story mode before Big Run, so how's that supposed to work? Other than just, you know, oh, you're saving everyone. Like, what is this music? You're saving everyone by like, getting rid of the salmon still. But who are you getting the eggs for, you know? Maybe Big Run is what happens after story mode and regular salmon run happens before. And it's like, oh, you're getting the eggs, but then they invade the lands. We'll see if we're still collecting eggs when they do that. Or if it's literally just kill them all. Um, that should, that'd be interesting if Big Run was literally focused on killing and not the eggs. Because then, yeah. That would make a bit more sense of just focusing more on the actual salmonids rather than trying to collect eggs for the guy we don't want to collect eggs for anymore.
Why not? I'll equip those. I'll turn in world champ. So yeah, how does this look? I feel like I did see this before and I was like, wait, what is that? Yeah, I don't like the look of it as much as the Takoyaki hairpin. Come back. Is that supposed to be hinting at something? And he's going to come back? Okay. Oh, well. I think that's probably everything. I don't think there's anything left to do. I mean, there's probably some extra dialogue from, like, playing the final boss again, because usually they change the dialogue a little bit when you play it again. But <laughs> if I do that, it's not going to be now, because I ain't going through the whole final boss again just to read a couple little bit of extra dialogue for now. On my own time, I'll probably do that. Because it's not as, well, it's just like Octo Expansion. It's not easy to play the final thing again. You have to go through a whole gauntlet of levels first. Ah. Well, actually, they did say you could skip some stuff. Unlike Octo Expansion, where you couldn't skip those levels, which would be a nice improvement to the way Octo Expansion worked, where I couldn't play the final thing again without having to go through every other level first. So maybe I'll do it. Do I really want to go back and do that? <sighs> All right, give me a sec. <sighs> okay, so the dialogue was not different. It's literally all the same and you can skip like every cutscene and every level, including the fights themselves. So you can literally just go in and skip everything. And the only parts that you can't skip are the parts where you're walking between the levels on top of the stuff and listening to this, the scaffolding and listening to Cuttlefish and Grizz talk about stuff. Everything else is literally just... Um, it's the exact same. Including the final broadcast with Deep Cut. So yeah. You can go, go straight to the credits, you can play the rocket battle, which is everything from the start of the rocket. You don't watch the Agent 3 cutscene where they cut up the, the ooze, but... You go, you start on the island. And then go from there. So yeah, you can relive the very beginning of the game and the very end. But yeah. I... I guess that's it for Splatoon 3. Thanks so much for watching the whole thing. If, you may, if you've watched the whole thing or just watched the finale or whatever. You know, I appreciate it a lot. I'm happy to finally have a playthrough done on this channel. I, I you know, I can finally start playing games again because I've been holding off playing games until I recorded it which didn't work well for me because, you know, it's hard for me to focus on stuff. So I could never get around to actually working on the stuff I needed to to get ready. And so I would just not play games for a while. And that killed me because, you know, I've games are detrimental, detrimental. No, that's the opposite of what I mean. Games are necessary for my well-being, mental health. That's what I should say. As, you know, much as people might find it weird that I say that. It's necessary for me. To keep on going. So, now I can finally play games again. I'm feeling much better. And this is a great... First... Like, hallmark. I guess is the word. To... Mark the beginning of my... <laughs> hopefully... Decent YouTube career. I don't know. 
I want to make videos for as long as I can, and hopefully people enjoy them. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I'll keep playing Splatoon, you know, for Splatfests and occasionally just going back to it. But for now, this is it. I'm done. Next on the channel will be a different game. What that is, I guess you'll see when you see episode one uploaded. <laughs> and be like, oh, that's what it is. Okay. But until then... Hopefully you enjoy. See you in the next game. Bye-bye.